Oh my god. What's up guys, it's Premier here, welcome back to the channel, hopefully you guys are all having a wonderful day, and today we are back with some more Worst Sniper Setup series on Call of Duty Ghost. There's currently about 1200 people online right now, I'm not 100% sure what kind of games we're gonna actually get into. So in today's loadout, you guys, we have the VKS with a thermal scope, Magnum 44 as a secondary with an ACOG and suppressor. Throwing knives because really, I just didn't really feel like using like an IED or a stem text or canister bomb or some shit like that. Perks, this is where it gets a little bit tougher in this game to decide what perks, because honestly, I can make my classes useless as shit and not have any perks. I just decided to fill it out and put just a bunch of useless perks on there that aren't gonna help me whatsoever, really. So what I did was I put reflex on, which is where I could swap my weapons faster, extra attachment, and then we have danger close because I have uh, no lethals. And then we're running the satcom and guard dog. I'm not even gonna get the satcom or the guard dog, so I don't even know why I even have those on. I could like legit just fucking get rid of it because it's not even worth my time. So if you guys never used the VKS before, it is actually the first suppressor sniper rifle, built-in suppressor sniper rifle. Pretty sure it's the first one in Call of Duty history. There is no redemption. I, if, I've never played with it. I've, I think I've actually played like a one or two games like way back when with it a couple times. You ready there, Officer McNasty? So if you guys have never seen this series before, basically I have five games to get as many kills with this destroyed class that I set up in this game. It consists of the worst sniper and the most useless classes that I could just set up with it. So I have five games to figure out how many kills I can get and uh, at the end of the five games we basically tally up all the kills I get and put it in a list and see which Call of Duty sniper is the worst of the worsts. Did he just say he's putting thermal on? Legitimately, this is the first lobby I get in and everyone's talking about thermals already. No, wait, no, mm -mm -mm -mm. Game one, feeling confident, feeling good. Let's take a little gainer at this beauty real quick though. The one thing I really just don't like about this weapon is it is like suppressed, so it is kind of weird and the range isn't all that great. When you shoot, it it has this insane amount of recoil. I don't even know if I should be using thermals because I feel like thermals actually is kind of cheesy in this game. See that, there's a kill right there, easy ass kills. Ooh, get out of here, buddy. Holy crap. That guy, like, snuck. I, I didn't know that he was sitting down there. It scared the hell out of me. All right, look at this piece of shit. Look at him. Look at him. Good night, bitch. This is, wow, this is one of the most boring games I think I'll ever have on here. This is ridiculous. Dude, what is this guy do? How is he knowing that I'm there every single time? Like, a satcom does not last that long. He's killed me at least, like, four or five times just trying to go into that house. And every single time, he's, like, already pre-aiming ADSing while I'm already coming through the door. Like, he knows I'm coming. I just watched him run. Get off me! I I'm getting annoyed already, dude. Because, legitimately, I've I felt like I've done nothing this entire gameplay. Like, I've done absolutely nothing. Everybody in this game is camping and being just completely just annoying. Like, they're just not doing anything. No one's moving. I haven't seen anybody, like, grouping together or nothing. Look at this shit look at him he thinks he's good no look at him just camping back here it's bullshit this was legitimately one of the most inactive games i've ever played in my life i just didn't feel like i did anything so yeah guys at the end of game one we ended up with 11 kills not a great start definitely not a great start i just felt there was absolutely nothing going on that entire match that it was ridiculous i've played that map a ton of times why i think it's called wide out i played that map a shit ton of times it's never been that slow before so 11 kills after game one <laughs> let's get into game two guys why on this map of all maps that you could have picked why this one dude seriously i don't know why okay already really already off the start off the start you're gonna shoot me now already huh let's go bitch this is why i don't like this map man it's this map is so terrible stonehaven is probably one of the worst maps in call of duty i mean damn i just got that right there though hey yo i don't feel like this thing is very accurate jk lol Dude, seriously, I shot- I swear I shot at him like three times. I shot direct on him. This is why I legitimately hate this map. It's just because there's nothing you can do against surprise attacks, campers, people using thermals, sitting at the back of the map being scummy. It's just ridiculous. Look at this scumbag. Get the fuck out of here. It's so ridiculously disgusting of how bad people play this game. Oh shit, dog. Get wrecked! It's every single time I'm shooting with this thing, I'm like gripping on the controller like as hard as I can. Still over here. Let's go. 
Look at this disgusting creature. Sits back here, just lays down fire. And then there's two other people over here just doing the same shit. It, that was actually kind of ridiculous. I didn't really have fun. So yeah, guys, after game two, we ended up with 23 kills. I think that's actually a record for the most kills in the game so far. So let's get into game three. All right, guys. So since using the thermal is a little bit easy, and I kind of realized that after that second game, I'm actually going to go and continue on with the regular scope with this because I with the thermal scope on, it is... Get the fuck off me. Get the fuck off me. With the thermal scope, it is actually a lot easier to see your opponents, like see people running at you and stuff. Stuff like that with this it's not as easy but damn that was easy Oof. we get into a different map and this team is still camping like this is their specialty this is ri this, that's ridiculous look at this piece of shit look at Look at how they're all stacked up back there, dude. That is taking team camping to a new level of just ridiculous. How is that? How are these not killing them? Fuck! And I get stabbed from behind? No, 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 move, move, move. Get out of my way. Hey, dude, move! See? See what happens when you get in Premier's way? You die! Right in the booty. And noob tubed again. Great. We went 18 and 19 that round at the end of game three. Let's get into game four. Dude, I'm so sick and tired of Snoop calling me a mark ass trick, man. I, I'm getting pissed, Snoop. Leave me alone, man. Holy sh. Oh my god, the the accuracy of this thing is unreal. Piss poor accuracy, it just was really bad. You know, are you fucking stupid? Can jump out the window. Look at this piece of shit. Yeah, get destroyed, buddy. Camping. You, you could form to turn into one of them. All right, boys, keep a low profile. Don't let them see you. Shoot that dude right in the. F so yeah, after game four, we ended up with 14 kills. It's not like I'm mad or anything. I'm not like I'm getting really pissed off. It's just that, that this just feels underwhelming. I just don't feel satisfied after every single game. I just don't feel satisfied. After like a long journey, uh, after like a long journey of just trying to get into one freaking game, I finally got into one. Oh my god. The amount of campers, dude. Why does everybody got a camp in this game? It's so ridiculous. Shit. There we go. This team is so scummy. I'm, I'm so sick and tired of it. I'm so sick and tired of playing against this team. Legitimately, I can't play one game without playing against the same people. And this is what's killing my vibe is the fact that they are so, so sweaty. I love how that person's the only person that I've been able to find and kill. This is bullshit. This team sweats, camps, and tries so hard. Harder than the extremely, extremely athletic kid in gym class. They'll just beat the shit out of everybody that played dodgeball. This greasy, grimy play style that this team thinks that they're pulling off. The things that they think they're just so good at. Now, you're going to lose this game because I'm not going to let you win. I'm going to absolutely destroy you. Oh, sorry to see you die there, pal. Get shredded, buddy. Who does that? Who sits there like that? Dude, it's so bullshit. There was dude over here. There he is. Get shit on. Where in the ever living fuck is he hiding? What? Fuck you. Did he just throw an IED? You piece of shit, you did! What kind of person does that? All right, real talk, real quick. Real quick, I'm just gonna set the controller down real quick. If you're watching this video and you are one of these people that throw IEDs down and camp in Call of Duty Ghosts, I know this game's old as shit, but if you camp with thermals on in Call of Duty Ghosts, I really just dislike you. You are probably one of the most disgusting human beings I've ever seen in my life. Just, you're just disgusting. You're greasy. At the end of game five, we ended up with 15 kills. I'm so happy this is over. This gun isn't shitty, but if the recoil is so bad and the lobbies in this game are just shit. This gun is not that great. I don't like it. It's it's pretty trash. You could do decent with it. All right, if, if you were looking to try to hit clips, don't use this. If you were looking to try to have good games, 
Don't use it. If you're playing against campy little bitches that just use thermal all game, do not use it. If, if you're playing against people with thermals that are campy the entire game, they're like master prestige, you know what you do? You fucking quit the game and you go play something else. Holy crap, that was terrible. It was miserable. I don't want to do that anymore. Let's go to the numbers and see how many kills I got with this bad boy before I lose a bunch of bolts and nuts in my brain, before something breaks and I go into a conniption. So yeah, guys, after five games, we ended up with 81 kills with the VKS. That ended up breaking a record again for most kills. That's three back to back to back videos that we have done of this series where I've actually broken my most kill records. I'm really happy that I'm improving and that these shitty weapons are getting less shittier or maybe I'm just getting better with shitty weapons. This is the last boots on the ground game until Call of Duty World War 2. So next week join me while I'm playing Advanced Warfare and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe if you feel like it. Hope the rest of your day is the absolute best of your day guys and uh peace peace.